What exactly is Google Gemini and how is it different from other AI tools like ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot? Here's the key. Gemini is built right into Google's tools. You already use every day. That means Gmail can help you drive emails, Docs can summarize long reports, and Drive can find your facts instantly. All powered by AI. My name is Carlos and I help small businesses around the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, visit itwithcarlos.com. Gemini is Google's AI platform designed to help you writing, research, brainstorming, and creative tasks. With Google Workspace, Gemini connects directly to Docs, Drive, Gmail, and Sheets. Even if you are in a free Gmail account, you can still take advantage of many Google's AI tools. There are two main ways to get started. From your browser, visit gemini.google.com. Or you can use Gemini mobile app on iOS and Android. And if you are using Google Workspace, you can also access Gemini directly inside your apps, Gmail, Drive, Docs, and Sheets. At the time of this recording, you can choose between two different models. Gemini 2.5 Flash. It is fast, designed for everyday tasks. And Gemini 2.5 Pro. More advanced, better for deeper work and reasoning. The real difference is more complex, but for now, think of Flash as quick and efficient and Pro as more powerful. Chat mode and follow up. This is where most people start. You ask a question, then refine it with follow ups. For example, you can type in Give me three blog ideas for small businesses using AI. In a moment, I will get the result with three blog ideas the AI Copilot for small businesses, five tools to save you time and money, Beyond the Hype, how AI is revolutionizing small business marketing, and Automate to innovate using AI to scale your small business operation. And then you can follow up with a new question. Make the number three into an outline. And here you have the result. And you can continue interacting. Let's say, for example, create a summary for this blog idea. You can upload PDFs, Google Docs, or Sheets, and ask Gemini to summarize or analyze them. By clicking on the plus sign, Upload Files. You can upload, for example, a PDF and ask, Summarize this in three bullet points. You can also upload files from your drive, Add from Drive. Gemini can also analyze images. For example, I went hiking a few days ago. When I got home, I discovered an insect on my leg. I took a picture of it, opened the Gemini app, uploaded the photo, and asked, what insect is this? And do I need to take any precautions? Gemini gave me a detailed answer within seconds. To upload the image, I click on the plus sign, upload files, select the file. In this case, it's the picture of the insect. And then open. Where is this insect? And what precautions should I take? And here's the answer. It seems it was a tick. And it seems the area where I am is considered a risk area for this kind of sticks. You can also generate new images from text prompts. Within the tools, I can generate or create images. I select images and I just provide a description. For example, I'm going to ask, create a cartoon style image of a tick. Here it is. Then we have other options. We have deep research, where Gemini can structure long and detailed answers, just as an example. Compare Microsoft 365 Business Standard and Google Workspace Business Standard for small businesses. This option will search over the internet in many different websites, and then it will give us a detailed answer based on an investigation and adapted to the specifics that we provided. We also have a canvas. Gemini will provide a response in a formatted version that we can easily export to other applications. And then we have the guided learning. Gemini can act like a tutor, guiding you step by step. I am currently using it to prepare for a Microsoft Teams certification exam, and it has been a very effective study tool.
On the left, if we expand the menu, we'll find Gems. This is a reusable AI workflow you create. This by itself will be subject for another video. Just below, we will find our recent conversations or chats. Now we can connect Gemini with our Google services or tools. Before starting, we need to go to Settings at the bottom left corner and then we click on Apps. We will find Productivity Tools here and we have to make sure this is on to connect to our tools by clicking here Connect. Now we can go back to our chat and we can start typing the at sign. We select, for example, Gmail. And I can ask, find emails that I haven't replied this week. Gemini is connecting to my Gmail and is searching for emails that I haven't replied. Gemini have found that there are no emails from this week that I have not replied to. Let's try something different. I select Gmail again. Find emails on collaboration proposals. And Gemini found several emails on that subject. As we can connect with Gmail, we can connect with other Google tools, like Google Docs, Google Drive, and so on. And even our calendar. The same way we can interact with Gmail, we can do it also with our Google Drive. We type the at sign, click on Google Drive, and we can search for files based on a name or specific words within a document, the titles, or a particular subject. Gemini will access our drive and will search for those documents. As we can do it from the Gemini chat, we can also access directly the apps and use Gemini from there. Let's go, for example, to our Gmail. And here, on the top right, we'll see the Gemini icon. It will open this window where we can enter our prompt here. Here we have some suggestions, but we can enter our own. Let's say I select this email and I can ask, suggest a reply for this email. If I like the result, I can click on insert and it will create the reply. I can do any changes from here as well. And then I can send my reply. Now I have accessed a Google Doc. And I can select, for example, any paragraph. And I will find this refined. I will be able to rephrase, shorten, elaborate, or make it more formal. This is part of Gemini, helping me to write within Google Docs. We will also be able to access Gemini here by clicking on the icon on the top right, where we can enter our prompt and start a conversation with Gemini. This particular document contains the three blocks idea that we used as an example in this video. Let's enter here, create a script for a video based on the idea number two. Here we have the result. Gemini created a video approximately three to four minutes. And here we have it. If I'm happy with this idea, I can insert it in my document. And here we have it. Now, it is important to have a look on privacy considerations. You can control what Gemini saves. You can turn off history for more privacy. But keep in mind that also means less personalization. You can upgrade and have Gemini advanced. You unlock more powerful features, access to a stronger models like Pro and Ultra, higher limits for image generation and deep research. And that's your quick introduction to Google Gemini. It is powerful, practical, and built right into Google Apps that you already use. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what is the first thing you would like to try with Gemini. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.